Hi guys and welcome back to my channel At Home With Shell. So in today's video I'll be showing you my top 10 3 to 6 month baby must haves. If you're new to my channel, hi my name's Michelle, I'm mum to two girls and I upload videos every week on things like motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning, hauls. So if that's the kind of thing that you like, then please subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and I'd love to have you join me. My youngest daughter, Arabella, has just turned seven months old. So she turned seven months yesterday, in fact. So I thought I'd make this video and share with you what we've kind of been enjoying over the last three months. I did make another video similar to this when she was first born called my top 10 newborn essentials. We are still using a lot of those things that I mentioned in that video, so I will link that down below. But the main thing that changes from the kind of naught to three to the three to six month stage is entertaining your baby. So in those first couple of months, they sleep a lot. They don't really need a lot of entertainment. Um, but towards the kind of three month mark, they start needing a lot more entertainment and they're also awake a lot more during the day. They develop so much between the three, three to six month period. So it's really important that you kind of keep them stimulated. So a lot of my top tens are actually about entertaining your baby and kind of toys, I suppose. At number one is the Jumperoo. My colleagues at work actually gave me this as a leaving gift when I have my daughter and it is absolutely fantastic. We first started using this when Arabella was um, probably only about kind of three months old, um, but she's always had really strong head control. Um, it does on the box, it recommends from four months, but I think it completely depends how your baby is. Like with everything, all babies are completely different. But to go in it, they do kind of have to have that strong neck control and be able to hold themselves up. So we just kind of sat her in it initially, only for about five minutes at a time, and she would just kind of sit and, and look at all the activities in there. But since then, she absolutely loves it. And honestly, there's not a day goes by that she probably doesn't play in it. Um, it's also great for giving me kind of about 10 minutes break to, you know, do the dinner or whatever I need to get done quickly. And she will just sit in it and play and it's got so many bright colours on it. It plays music and yeah, she just absolutely loves it. So the jumper doesn't come cheap. I think it's about £80 to buy. So it is quite an investment piece. Um, but even if you look for them on eBay, they're still going for about £50. So even if you buy one and sell it or you buy one second hand, they do seem to really hold their value. So I would definitely recommend getting a jumper -oo. At number two is a play gym. Now I did mention this on my newborn essentials video because she had kind of started using it in those first few months. But even since then, she still plays on it. She will now go on her front on it. She'll sit under it and still play with the things. It's got a mirror that she's absolutely fascinated with looking in. So this has just been one of the best buys ever. At number three are these eggs. Now, they are just these kind of little eggs. And you pull this off and there's an egg under here. And it basically squeaks like so. Um, and they've all got a different kind of shape on the bottom so as they get older they can actually enjoy sorting them into different shapes so you can see this one another different shape now i don't know what it is about these eggs but she absolutely loves them she's just fascinated by playing with them and honestly will play with them for about half an hour from them being in the box to taking the like, the lids off to taking them out to putting them back in to to everything it's yeah she just absolutely loves playing on them and if I put these on her high chair as well she will just sit in her high chair you know again if I'm making dinner or something I need to get some or I'm making her lunch um she will just sit and play with these for quite a long time um and I think yeah they're just they're really good and these were only seven pounds from Amazon honestly it's the best seven pounds I've ever spent at number four is this crawl and roll egg. So there's loads of different versions of these. I think little tykes do one. Um, this one's actually from John Lewis. And it basically just has loads of things you can play with on there. And you can turn it on. It has music that it plays. Um, this kind of pops up. And it's really good for helping them to learn to crawl as well. So towards, again, towards the end of the kind of six month period, this is absolutely fantastic. On the themes of balls, um, I just wanted to show you this one as well because she absolutely loves this. 
Um, I can't actually remember where I got this from, but I know they sell some similar on Amazon, like the oval type things. Um, and it's essentially a ball with another small ball in it. And if you can hear it, it's got like a bell or something inside it. Um, and it's just absolutely fantastic because from quite a young age, she's been able to kind of get her hands in here and then gradually start moving it around and making lots of noise with it. And this is fantastic for journeys as well because you can take this with you and it will keep her entertained for quite a while. So I definitely recommend getting some kind of balls. Again, now she's getting a little bit older, we can kind of roll this around and then it will hopefully help her learn how to crawl as well. At number five is talking kind of stuffed toys and teddies. So this is something that Arabella has loved since she was a little baby and now she's sitting up, we'll just sit and play with this Dumbo for ages. So basically you press it here and he will sing a song to you and yeah, it just makes her laugh so much. She absolutely loves it. Um, it plays peekaboo as well. So again, more interaction for the baby and that's kind of games that you will play maybe as a parent. So it's really good if you can play it with the toys as well. <laughs> Um, another one that we've got is, again, it's an elephant, just happens to be an elephant. Um, I can't remember where I got this from. Uh, I think it was from the range where we got this. Um, it's basically a talking elephant um, and you can kind of press the press its tummy and it will do various things. So count with you or it will tell you the alphabet or it sings with you. And she just really likes playing with it. So she can press its tummy and also the it's kind of got nice textures on the ears and they make a different sound as well. So something like that, she just absolutely loves playing with. At number six, and the last thing that I wanted to mention on kind of entertainment is books. So we really love these books, the That's Not My Book. There's a massive selection of them um, and they're just fantastic because they're really bright, they're really easy to look at and each page kind of has different textures on. So here it's kind of got a fuzzy tongue um, and it's got like a fluffy tummy and she'll just sit and I'll read these to her and she'll just look at them and now she's kind of starting to really like recognise some of the things in the books. Um, she also really loves the softer books. So this one she really loves and she has loved since she was a young baby because it's just simply black and white um, it's really easy to look at, it's really noticeable, um, especially if we kind of do the noises to the animals as well, she loves it. And at the front of it is a mirror, and she just loves looking at herself in the mirror. I think she's maybe recognised who she is, or she thinks there's another baby in it, but yeah, she absolutely loves this. And again, it's kind of got different sounds to it, so I'd really recommend buying some of these soft books. What's really good about these is as well is that they can put them in their mouths, because some of the books, you don't really want them putting them in their mouths because they're quite hard on the gums. One other book that I just wanted to mention are these kind of story books. And we've got quite a few of these. Um, I actually got them from my baby shower. Um, these are from Marks and Spencers and they're called First Readers. And they're fantastic for reading her a bedtime story. So ever since she was born, we've always tried to get in a good habit of reading her a story at bedtime. So that's kind of her routine. She knows she has a bath and then story time and then she goes to bed and these again they're just they're really easy to read um they're so brightly colored and they're not too long because some of the books are quite long and at that age they can't concentrate for too long so these are just great and they're all the old classics in there so this is three little pigs um we've got loads of these different books so i definitely recommend getting some books and especially making it part of your bedroom read Arabella's just woke up early from her nap so she's going to finish the rest of the video off <sighs> with me. So number seven and eight are all about teething because that's another thing that happens between three to six months is they begin teething. Now at number seven has been an absolute lifesaver, it's Sophie the Giraffe. Now I thought this might have been massively overrated because I'd seen so many reviews and other videos including it. Um, because it's just essentially a small toy, which is £12, which is actually quite expensive um, for what it is, but it's actually fantastic. 
So what's really good about it is they can just, babies seem to be able to hold on to it really well. So they can hold on to the legs, the neck. She really enjoys kind of nibbling on the little ears, nibbling on the legs. And I think it's definitely helped with her teething. So yeah, she loves Sophie as well. When we're out, it's like your best friend, isn't it? You love Sophie. <laughs> there you go. Do you want her? And what's really good about her, she squeaks as well. So sometimes we'll be in the car and I'll just all I hear is this squeaking in the back seat. There she is. Is that nice on your teeth? Yeah. So another thing that's really good for teething are to get some teething rings. So this is one that my friend got us. This is a newbie one and it's really good. Again, the way it is, she can just hold on to it. Um, she did have some kind of teething keys when she was younger that you can put in the fridge. Um, she just found them a little bit harder to hold, but this she's absolutely loved. And all the different textures and things on there, she can kind of rub it against her gums and think she really enjoys it. And again, it's got this kind of different sound here, which she's always loved playing with. Is that good? It's really handy just to throw in the changing bag when you're going out as well. Number nine relates to bathing. So in my top 10 essentials newborn videos, you'll have seen we bought the snuggle bath, which is fantastic, but she is getting a little bit too big for that now. Um, and she goes in the big bath quite a lot with me. Um, but what I found when I was bathing with her, it's just really hard and I always have to hold her all the time. So towards the end of the kind of six months, I got one of these bath seats which is fantastic. So I got this from Amazon. Again, everything that I've mentioned today, I will link in the description down below. Um, and it's just fantastic. So she can sit in here by herself. Mm. She can, she loves actually just playing with this ball on there. Um, it sticks to the bath as well. So, sorry, it's got water kind of coming out of it at the minute. It sticks to the bath as well. So you don't need to worry about it tipping up or then falling over or anything. But again, with something like this, they do need to be able to kind of sit up by themselves and have really good neck hold, neck strength. So I would definitely recommend getting a bath seat. And we do still use the bath thermometer that I mentioned in my previous video as well. Mm. And at number 10, and the last thing that I wanted to include is with regards to weaning and is a high chair. Now, I absolutely love our high chair. It took me so long to find the perfect high chair. Um, I did get a lot of recommendations about the IKEA high chair, um, but I really wanted one that was able to fold up and also one that would... Yeah. And also one that would kind of relax slightly. So we ended up getting the Joy 2-in-1 Mimsy high chair, which is fantastic because it's got a lot more padding in there. She seemed quite comfortable in there from about five months. I've done more of a review in another video on my weaning essentials video, which I will link down below for you. So that's it for today's video and I really hope that you've enjoyed watching. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching and have found it really useful in helping you know what to buy for your three to six month old. Say bye.